Hi, people. My name is Chloe, and I'm going to tell you about my transformation into a beefcake woman and how it turned out for me in the end. According to my parents, I was a sickly child who often had to skip kindergarten and later school. I had a chronic runny nose. No matter how warm my parents dressed me, every flu epidemic knocked me down. My other issue was my appetite. Ever since I was a baby, I was a very poor eater. That was probably why I was very skinny as a teen, scrawny even. When all of my girlfriends grew substantial curves, I could still go swimming topless. My dad was getting visibly worried about me. One day, he came home from work looking like he meant business. He said, this is it, you're doing sports from now on, or the wind is going to carry you away from us. That was the beginning of a new life for me. I started with basic fitness and I worked out very sparingly at first because I felt as if any real pressure would break my bones. But my trainer was very strict and demanding so I could feel a newfound power in my body after exercising for a month. Muscles stood out where skin and bone used to be. I put on some weight and reached 110 pounds. I was over the moon with happiness. The quick and easy results inspired me to really get into sports. I started playing basketball and volleyball and I did well enough to get on the school team. My teachers and classmates could barely recognize me. As for myself, I was ecstatic about my changing body. I felt fit and strong. Eventually, I became so overzealous that I'd disappear in the gym for hours every day. I was especially fond of strength building exercises now. I used several kinds of dumbbells. There were lightweight dumbbells for my triceps, back muscles and deltoids and a heavier set for my pectorals and biceps. I increased their weight gradually so that my workouts required constant effort. Of course, it was exhausting, but I never really thought about quitting sports. I was really passionate about my workouts by then. Plus, I found out I had a mesomorph body type, not ectomorph like I used to think. This explained why I was advancing much faster than an average person. My entire body was toned and taut now with well-defined muscles. By the time I graduated from high school, I looked like a buff young man. Also, I was over 140 pounds now. It was easy to choose a university. I enrolled at the local teacher's university department of physical education. I spent all my free time at the gym. Seeing my fellow students looking at me with envy made me feel incredibly proud. They'd wonder how I could bicep curl a 40-pound dumbbell when the other girls could barely lift 15 pounds. I'd represent my university at bodybuilding competitions, scoring a top place more often than not. I also tried my hand at powerlifting. A ripped body remained my main objective and it was going really well. My appearance actually made me some money. I realized it was much easier than teaching physical education in a public school. The money was much better, too. I didn't hesitate for too long before quitting the uni. Apparently, I was on studies anyway. I had had enough of 8-hour class days and exhausting exam sessions. They didn't leave me enough time for proper workouts. All in all, I felt really good about making the leap of faith. I had plenty of time now, but my goal was still a long way ahead. I looked into possible ways to speed up the process. I learned there were special substances that can help you build up muscle rapidly. Someone was nice enough to help me procure these supplements and I took them according to the instruction. They enhance muscle growth by accelerating protein synthesis inside the cells. I was so addicted to the miraculous supplement that I bulked up at an alarming rate. My parents weren't as happy anymore about making me get into sports all those years ago. Mom begged me to stop with tears in her eyes. But I was popular. I was the star of shows and competition and they paid well. I was intoxicated by my success. I shuddered at the memory of my time at the university. Once, I ran into my ex-coursemates on their way to academic training in a public school. Hey. The very thought seemed tedious and exasperating to me. Of course, they didn't get why I was so proud of my own achievements either. The delicate-looking girls were watching me in horror, saying I looked like a man and mocking my deep voice. That encounter infuriated me, and I swore I would work out even harder until I become the most renowned female athlete in the world. 
I took additional supplements and went on a special diet. Two years later, I had to stop working out for a while in order to take care of my butt and liver issues. You'll never guess what happened. I deflated! My whole body was saggy as if I hadn't been a 90-pound girl who put on weight but rather a 500-pound slob who worked out to lose it. My bulk was gone just as quickly as it had come. I looked horrible now. It goes without saying I wasn't welcome at shows or competitions any longer. Not that I wanted anyone to see me like that. My mental health took a hit as well. I was plagued by aggressive outbursts and mood swings. My doctor said they were actually another side effect of the supplements I used to take. I'm 22 years old now. I have no education to speak of. I'm completely dependent on my parents. As if that wasn't enough, my health is ruined. At least I learned a valuable lesson. Reason and moderation are key in all things. I hope my story helps someone stop before they've gone too far.